Good morning. 10.58 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on this Tuesday, September 24th, 2024. I'm XRP Future Millionaire, and I reside in the great state of Michigan. So if you're looking for the XRP update, I put one out a few hours ago. Make sure you look in the archive. It covers crypto and yada, yada, yada. This will pertain to precious metals. We'll go through gold. We'll look at the silver chart. We got to do this quickly because I got to leave here at 1120. And then we're going to go through B2 Gold and First Majestic as I am a holder of First Majestic and B2 Gold. Yesterday, I gave out the alert again that if you hadn't bought, you sold out, you better start looking to rebuy it on that retracement. This morning had a wonderful opportunity as well. B2 Gold was sitting at 325 and... Uh, or 326 and first majestic was about six dollars and 12 cents on the open so that is where i reinvested in both i didn't sugarcoat it yesterday i talked about it and i'm not going to show the portfolio but i do hold over three almost 3100 b2 gold and just under 500 shares of first majestic so let's get into this gold right now at 15 dollars and 20 or 15 dollars and 50 cents after a small you know pullback initially that we had on rate cuts it wasn't huge but we had a small pullback and it made a little bit of people nervous we were up at 25.98 we in, only came down to 25.45 and now we're off to the races we're over the 26.16 resistance which means if you look at this in a projection this looks like we could be starting this move up to 2860 that's the longer standing target once you get outside of this pattern consolidation we've got some uh, heavier targets here and if gold's getting ready to move here and it might be because uh, we got some big stuff happening on october 5th so i mean well we might talk about it more but the, uh, there's a strong belief here that gold silver precious metals commodities our time as far as that flip we could be having a significant and substantial move up gold is just after a decades long consolidation is just getting ready for the ultimate move here and that could bring us with this cup the technical moves up to 4000 i'm doing it micromanaging though we had 2044 then we had 2526 2616 and now it's 2860 because we cleared the short term levels so assuming 2616 is the new support that means our next resistance is up at 2860 and just because my pa my charts are inverted on the RSI, so it looks oversold, which it is, or overbought, I mean, because mine's uh, inverted, so it's not oversold. But when you start to get into these parabolic moments, just because it's overbought, that's an indication that we are in a full-blown bull market here. There's no, it doesn't need to come back out. That's what m most people misunderstand. Gold's in a full-blown bull market. Silver's in a bull market. Commodities are so close to catching up. B2 gold so far behind. And it did the consolidation perfectly. I talked about there was two levels you could buy. You could buy the consolidation and it hit 325. And I said last night, I'm not tempting fate. I'm buying it on the open as long as it's in the mid 320s, which I did. And if it comes to 316, you can always buy more. If it comes through, you can make an educated and informed decision. And then with first majestic silver up 3.97%. To six dollars and 29 cents this looks like it's on the verge of making it right back up to eight dollars and 55 cents big bull flag playing out had a nice inverted hammer yesterday which i talked about you're tempting fate when it was down there if you don't buy it on the open and then it ends up breaking through so it very well could consolidate back down i'm not a financial advisor but this was a very long and sustained consolidation a descending consolidation that we've now broken to the top side we even had a back test after going up to 855 and the technical target out of here is back up to 855 which is amazing the over the top formation is nine dollars and 21 cents but this is a big big descending consolidation that i don't know what happened here but it was a big descending consolidation i must have moved that when i was doing something but this is the descending consolidation we came through and you can see it's actually done a prototypical breakout here back test it looks to be off to the race i don't know how else to say it look i mean there's a, there's going to be a day i come on here and b2 gold first they're going to be up 15 20 percent and it's already up from two dollars and 38 cents on b2 gold when we started to talk about it and own and buy and sell when we could 
so we could increase our holdings. That time's gone. First Majestic, we just two weeks ago, we had it at $4.71. You know, so it's if you're looking for those numbers again, we've already had that retracement. And everybody could have been on board. Gold's up 17 bucks. It's pushing right now. And the only thing left for me to cover is silver. And then I got to release this because we got to go pick up my son. But silver, but I'm very passionate about precious metals. I'm going to be doing more updates um, regarding the precious metals, the mining sector that I own. Um, even looking into like emerging markets, which we talked about yesterday during the live. And uh, we'll talk more about EMB, which is my emerging market. Um, that's the emerging market. Emerging markets bond pays a 4.5% dividend. But if you do a self-directed IRA, at the end when tax season comes around, you can write off $7,500. So you won't have to claim that towards your income. So that's something that I try to invest in the emerging markets, but I don't talk about it a lot. But maybe in the future I will more. Um, so with silver, real quick, it's up 2.7%. I got a very strange feeling today that First Majestic, it's up 4.5. It could end up having a much bigger day. A lot of this looks like they could have bigger days, but just be aware if it does reverse back down, take the opportunity to buy more. We're at a time right now where I think a lot of people are going to get whitewashed here. Does that pattern look familiar on silver? It should. That's similar to what Bitcoin's going through, except silver's on the top side of it. See that? Just for comparison purposes, see how Bitcoin, similar megaphone pattern. Bitcoin just hasn't broken to the top side. And it could still have more consolidation, but it's a very similar pattern you see with silver. Silver just is the bullish version of it right now. Bitcoin, you know, might be in the consolidation. See how silver went from 2964 down to 2760, then broke over 3080. Well, right now, silver's technical targets to move up to 3574. And I'm telling you right now, if silver goes to 35 bucks, first majestic probably will be over eight. That moves very quickly, first majestic. They move very quickly. Like with, with gold, if gold goes up over 2,800, B2 gold's probably gonna be up near four to five dollars. We're getting close to a massive breakout is what I'm trying to say. So please pay attention to what I'm trying to say. Hit that like button so that YouTube will push this through the algorithm. These aren't my most popular videos when I do the mining sector or the gold and silver uh, precious metal or the bullion markets. They don't usually get the best of views. But if I can get 400 views on these, I'm gonna be very happy because this is a very undervalued sector and nobody talks about it really. Nobody that I know that covers crypto even would mention this sector. They act like they're, they're vehement enemies and that couldn't be farther from the truth. So that's what I'm looking for, ladies and gentlemen. Whether you're in it or not, pay very close attention to the commodities market, precious metals. Some of you have watched and made over $5,000 in the last two months just through these commodities I'm talking about. So, you know, you have to make an educated, informed decision. I'm not a financial advisor. But you need to advise yourself and see if this makes sense to you. See if it makes sense to you to transfer into the gold or silver market and use your U.S. dollar while it has any kind of value left and try to buy real money. It's a lot different now than it was in 21, a lot different than 22, 23. You know, the price is soaring. But this is what uh, the spot we're in. And if you've missed all of this, it's a shame. But the time's not over exactly yet. There's still a lot in front of us. So make sure you hit that like button. I hope you can use this wisely.